or I'm worried about some of these things getting crushed in my uh, suitcase. So I got a felt hat. This is actually a really neat one. Actually, a, like a Scoutmaster cap, a hat. Um, I don't think they sell them like that anymore. It was when I was involved in scouting with my son. Um, this, I'm worried about it popping like a balloon or getting crushed if it's uh, left unsealed. So I can put that there. Now this hat does, uh, it takes a little bit of crushing and uh, it can expand again. So I'm not too worried about the hat and I'm not really crushing it here. I'm just kind of leaning on it and thought I'd throw a hat. And these are things I'm worried about crushing. Um, well, at least those two, this kind of razor crushed. And I can pack that probably in my luggage. And this is a 511 uh, shoe box or boot box. You know, you get boots from 511. Um, oh, hold on. Where is it? There we go. There we go. We got to close now. There we go. Oh, we can, that's a special feature, I guess. You can grab it with one finger. So now I don't have to worry about my stuff getting crushed. I like that. I'm going to pack that in my suitcase. Okay. I'm going to have to see how this works out. So it is taking up like a quarter of my suitcase. Got a suitcase like this, one of those rolling ones. I like that metallic green color, kind of arranged with that Halo Spartan guy. Um, but I feel, I figure I can probably fill in even more things in here. So, oh, I didn't even know I had a bag like this. I never, I never had one of these before. I just bought this at Ross. Um, it's called Lucky Brand. If you want to get one like that, uh, yeah. well, at least it fits as far as the height here. So, five eleven bucks, I think it work out as far let me let me try zipping it up and see if it see if it doesn't give any issues there oh no perfect height 511 boxes shoe boxes or boot boxes actually that's a that's a box from uh atax uh six inch boot and it's gonna protect some stuff in my suitcase so i'm liking that i'm liking it now i am traveling within the states but i would be concerned with taking things like that camel hat and that even that 511 shoe box the boot box because um i mean i would be concerned if this was like an international trip because in other countries you don't want to be accused of being like a spy or something because they can see that's military equipment or you know paramilitary uh camouflages if if you think i'm exaggerating look it up camouflages are uh, banned from civilian use in a lot of parts of the world in other countries uh, because they use their military like policemen and they're out there so it's kind of like having a police uniform you're not a policeman um so you gotta worry about that but i'm in the states i can have camel if i want um but like yeah i wouldn't i would be very hesitant to wear anything that is camouflage or any paramilitary type uh law enforcement type of equipment uh because like i said i mean <laughs> that would be a good thing to point to though so somebody could start saying it's military equipment you came in with or something uh, and accuse you of being a spy or something like that or who knows what right it's something even worse all right so that is, I guess, maybe the best feature about this. Not only am I protecting my stuff, but this box fits in one of these suitcases. So I think that's great. It's a great uh, traveling hack tip, I guess. I'd protect your valuables that you're worried about getting crushed. Uh, and I haven't seen that hack, so I thought I'd make this video.